Shalawam, let us say all praises due to Yahweh. <clears throat> ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopeful members of the elect of whom I hope to be. This is just a short lesson. This is a footage that I saw on the internet. It's called uh, Man Has 86 Wives and Over 187 Children. Right? Or kids, right? Well, the kid is a goat, right? We we're dealing with children, not goats, right? But um, you know, this was uh, he's Muslim, cause I believe uh, Nigeria, um, you have the Hausa, the Hausa people. I think the Fulani, the Igbo, um. You know, there's, I think the Hassa, they practice the whole Islam. I think the Igbo, um, I think they might practice Christianity. I don't know. Because there's a couple different um, sects of, or sect of different uh, tribes throughout Nigeria. The whole of West Africa, there's different uh, tribes, you know, but they're, for the most part, you know, uh, the whole of the West Coast, going from the East to the West, um, but especially West Africa, they're they're Israel, they're Israelites like Igbo, all right, which means Hebrew or Hebo, which means Hebrew. You know, um, you know, I made a lot of videos about that on this channel, um, GMS Yasha Allah Banyamin, but this is. You know the so-called polygamy right because a man can have more than one wife and i'm going to get that scripture this is isaiah ezekiel this is just after camp uh, exodus 21 and 10 if he all right like this is in the law all right of the torah all right that moses that he wrote down Right. If he take out, take him another wife, her food, her raiment, and her duty of marriage, shall he not diminish? So if you have a, you know, if you have a wife, you know, like you have to take care of her, you know, you have to, uh, you know, you have to, you know, that make sure she has food, you no know, clothing. All right. And, uh, and her, her duty of marriage is, this, is there her is sex. You're supposed to. You know, be fruitful, multiply. You're supposed to satisfy your wife, you know, and vice versa, right? And the woman, you know, like satisfy her man, right? And and like that's all, you know, we're we're supposed to be doing, you know. But Esau, you know, with his uh, with Westernized world, this backward society, they're pushing uh, alternative lifestyle on the on our people. You know they're 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 making our people bugged up. You know and um, you know this whole Christian church. Oh, you're only mar you're only allowed to get married to 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 one wife. You know which is totally off, right? Because um, you know Abraham had many children, right? He had many wives. He had many wives and children. All right, Jacob, he had many uh, wives and children and concubines. You know, like that's how certain of the tribes were established. You know, um, you know, you read about Jacob and his concubine. You know, the King David had uh, wives and a uh, couple concubines. King Solomon, he had over seven hundred wives and he had 300 concubines man all right so um you know we're getting we're gonna go back to that regal mentality because the moors when we're in power man um a lot of our people they were practicing uh islam some of our our people were were keeping the torah and they had many wives all right, and they had concubines too, right? Because you read about the barbarian uh, slave trade, 
you know where like basically there was a whole slave slave auction you know that um basically uh you know um the Edomites known as the Khazars like like they uh, like they would sell our uh, um, like, um, like they would sell their own children you know like to the Moors you know um if I could find that footage I'm gonna put put on pause one second yeah I found the clip I'm gonna just play this all right I'm gonna play it this is uh this guy um. Uh, He's, uh, I believe, a philosopher. He's like a teacher. All right. Um, he's very uh, knowledgeable of our history. You know, even though he goes into the whole Egyptology and all that type of stuff. But uh, he goes into like the Moors and their knowledge. So I'm going to just play this. When the Moors came into Europe, the first slavery was white slavery, traded in their own people. For hundreds of years, white folks sold their people to the Moors the moment they saw Moors coming. It was a great, it was a great pride to be able to have a black face on your family shield. It was an honor for you to have a name like Moore or Morrison. Yes, white slavery was it. Selling particularly their daughters. They would sell them all over the world. And, and you know, in many families, the wives and the children reportedly were so relieved when they were sold. They were better treated by Moors as servants than they were as wives to their European husbands. See, we don't know this because they are so focused on us in the newspaper nowadays, it seems like we are the ones that are so perverse and de depraved. When this brother is going into the knowledge, all right, of our history, you know, because there's a, a man could have more than one wife, and we were and we are rulers, man, during the dark age, during the middle ages, man, uh, even until um, basically the to like the 19th century, like the 1800s, man, Jake was still, um, you know, in the whole slave trade, too, you know, Morocco um algeria certain you know and basically uh we eventually fell you know then you had um you know um the so-called uh the royal the royal nobility the black nobility all right the dark nobility of the moors are right, of uh king um you know king george the third you know charlotte sophia you know they were black they have uh him depicted as a as a white man you know but he's actually a a a, a dark he was actually a, a a a negro he's a dark skin he was uh even though he was a little bit more lighter all right but he was a jake all right you have to do your your research you know about um you know king james and all that but i'm um, just just I'm kind of all over the place, so bear with me. If 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 he do not these thing, if he do not these three, right? So her her food, her raiment, and you're not popping, you're not you're not satisfying your wife, you know. Like then you could, like then you could just uh, like you could divorce her, man. If she if if like if she's not doing those, if she's not cooking, she's not cleaning, and like and she's not giving the box. All right, but basically, um, you know, like that's how it was back then, and now, you know, if these women, all right, because uh, we're 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 approaching these time that these women are gonna submit, man. You know, when um, certain certain calamities is gonna come on the land, you know, and it's gonna be like the Book of Eli or uh, I Am Legend or The Road. You know, if you watch those movies, you know, that, you know, like, these women, they were, you know, like, they were, like, when you watch, like, the book of Eli, you know, like, the woman, she wanted to cleave onto Eli, man, you know, because, uh, you know, because she was more secure, because she knew she had a, 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 a like, she had a, a, a um, you know, like a like a buckler or a shield, you know, because he was a man of the word. 
all right and uh he was very disciplined you know and um and that's what it's gonna be like man so a lot of women are gonna wanna cleave a lot of women who 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 came by the camp you know for years and even today man there's some beautiful women man like toronto man we have the we have the like like we have the sexiest woman man i can't just lie if you come to toronto if you guys don't you know even Sh even shaquille o'neal said that said that toronto has the beautiful has the most beautiful woman bro and it's true you know there's dimes man you know like but they're not they're not they're not dimes they're just nickels man because these women like you know like these women don't even know how to clean cook said so if he if he do not these three unto her then shall she go out free without money so if you're not if you're not giving her proper food raiment or whatever and you're not popping her whatever yeah like the woman could just divorce you right so like this, so like this was our law but uh, i'm gonna play this clip i really should have already played it but uh, i'm gonna just play it for uh, this for educational purposes let's play it Hello Masaba is a, a faith healer in Nigeria and I love this guy. I know. He's in the news because he currently has 86 wives. He's been married 107 times and he has oh god, what I read about this I, I I kind of feel sad for him, but he has 185 kids. 133 of them are still living. All right. So yeah, but she feels sad for it. Yeah, because she's a damn feminist, but if she was if she lived in the east all right, because right now they're still uh, they're, they're still white slavery, man. Like these Khazars and these uh, these Ru Russian and whatever, these Ukrainian and whatever. Like they're like they're selling their own, man. You know, I, I like and they're doing. And it's a worldwide network, man. They're doing like sex trafficking and whole bunch of stuff, man. You know. Um, I'm gonna just play this. But let's think about this. First of all, this guy for the win, okay? Faith healers, massive win. Um, yeah, yeah, this guy, he's like, uh, he's somebody, he's like, uh, probably like, uh, he's, he's Muslim, so he's like, what you know, he's like, he has he's high position, he has money, he's secure, he has land, he has wife, so he's able to, uh, to afford these things, man. You know, like that's why that scripture says, uh, Exodus 21, verse 10 if, if he take a him another wife, her food, her raiment, and her duty of marriage, shall he not diminish? So he's doing his duty of marriage, but even though he's Islam, he's Islamic, the Islam they're only allowed to have four wives, but they're able to have uh, hundreds of concubines. All right, but this guy, you know, he he married his wives, right? Under their whole Islamic religion. All right, that whole Islamic religion was was set up by the by uh, by Jake. All right, like by the Jews. All right, you know they say Muhammad's uh, mother was a is a Jew. All right, I don't know about the father, but um, you know I already made like a. Uh, um, I put a link in it in, in the like in, I put a link in the like in the description box about um Muhammad, you know. Um because you know like that was all set up to try and um you know in kind of indoctrinate and to drive out our people from the land or to drive out the Ishmaelites from the land of uh you know like from the promised land like that's why there were the crusades and stuff but they were you know so like so like that's why muhammad was he was an agent to uh set up that whole religion so i'm gonna put a link in the description box about muhammad i made like uh i think it's like a 40 minute 50 minute video it goes into that but i'm gonna play this healers massive win um second of all he has outlived, let's do the math on it real quick, 
52 of his kids. That's amazing, man. He's 86 years old, and his youngest... He outlived. So the man, the man has a lot of children, a lot of offspring, man. All right? And their children have children, man. Like, you know, like, that's a blessing, man. And we're going to inherit, you know, like it says that we're going to be like as, uh, as grass. You know, our, you know, our seed is going to be blessed. All right. I believe it's in, uh, I think, Jeremiah or Isaiah. But uh, I know I, I know about this scripture, man. Isaiah 4 and 1. And in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, we will eat our own bread. All right. So you, so your own clothes, you might, you know, like whatever you might have. All right. And that's going to happen even before this whole, like this whole, uh, this whole downfall of the society but even though that basically like we're we're gonna be approaching these times and that a lot of women are single out here man there's there's right here in Tor toronto man there's a lot of women who's single man you know, right and and basically uh you know like they don't have no man you know you might holler at them you know and uh it's like a hit or miss. It's either they're they're digging you or or you're not, you know. Or uh, you might you know because right now you know Esau got everybody uh, you know on everybody everybody glued to their phone. You know people don't even wanna like say you know like people don't wanna greet you say you know. You know say hi hello or whatever you know like everything is fucking backwards. You know, so, um, so it's like these women are just, um, you know, at home and they're just pleasing themselves, you know, like they have their, uh, their toys, you know, what do they call them? Um, the rose and uh, all kind of different shit. So they don't even need a man because they know how to do things. It's always like, like, that's why, um, you know, all these, all these, all these toys that Esau He's setting up, you know, like to, uh, in like, like that, that these women are buying. It's really, uh, you, you know, it's you, like you're not being, you're, you, you, that basically, like you, like these women don't want to, uh, you know, to lie with a man, you know. It's like, you know, so everything is totally contrary, man. You know, but you know when things are gonna, you know when. You no, know, like things is getting more more rough, and um, the next we know by you know but with within the next couple months or year or two or whatever, all hell's gonna break loose, man. And uh, you women are gonna be begging, like to find a a a a, a, a righteous man, you know, like someone who's stable, you know, someone who's um. Who's gonna have his head on the shoulder, all right? And um, you know, and you women are gonna be begging, man. You know, like to try and look for a a, a single, <laughs> or, you know, a, a brother, man. You know, these women are gonna be begging, man, because these women are single out here, man, and they need a man, all right? And like these women, like they don't even know how to like. How do I even, um, you know, like really like some of them don't really know how to, you know, like dialogue or communicate. You might, you know, you might say something, but it's like it goes out, you know. So it's like, and it's in that day, seven women shall take hold of one, one man saying, we will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our approach. All right. And that's going to happen, you know, like when the all hell is going to break loose. And also ultimately, like that, uh, like when we are uh, uh, like when the elect is crowned. All right. When the elect is crowned. All right. And um, it's going to it's going to have the dominion of the whole earth. All right, and you and you other nations, man, you're the men and the women are gonna have to be subject. All right, unto unto the Israelites, 
of the of the you know because remember Revelation one and I believe seven, he ha he has made us kings and priests. All right, so the Most High is gonna make us kings and priests, man. All right, and we're gonna have scepters. All right, and we're gonna execute judgment, man, man. Could read more about this. Wanna. In that day, this is uh, Isaiah 4 and 1. In that day, so few men will be left that seven women will fight for each man, saying, Let us all marry you. And that's what's going to happen. All right. I, I was like, this is the NLT version, man. And this is even better. Like then the King James version, man, with this verse right here, man. If that if that day, in that day, so few men will be left that seven women will fight for each man, all right? And that's what's gonna happen, man. All right, B because we're gonna be getting these women, man. And we're, like and me, I like women that that could uh, that could cook. You know, like that could draw that into music. Um, you know, like those are the type of women that I like. Woman, I like women who could draw, who's who's into tailoring. You know, and that's into uh, certain types of festivities. You know, all right, and um, so I'm gonna. Me myself, like when, like when I get the kit, you know, like when I get that Lord's will, all right, and I'm gonna, Lord's will, like that if I'm if I'm a double elect man, and I'm and I get that, I get that opportunity that that time, all right, I'm gonna really scrutinize these women, you know, and uh, whatever. Every every everybody has their own spirit, all right, but um. You know, because I'm not gonna pamper them when I I really have to feel I, I like I really want to know like her damn mind, right? Because basically, uh, you know, like King Solomon, he said, um, I'm gonna get this. I believe uh, Ecclesiastes seven. It says, um, if in that day seven few men will be left, that several seven women will fight for each man, saying, Let us marry you. All right, so these women are gonna want me to get like these women are gonna want to marry me, All right? So I'm gonna really have to like, I I I'm really gonna have to like look and you know like figure out her background, you know, like what you know like what's going, you know what I mean? Like, so we're gonna really like we're gonna be very uh you know like particular. Me, I'm gonna be very particular. You wanna like you wanna know like what the fuck. The girl could cook clean. If she could cook, if she if she if she clean up her house, she's one of those nasties. You know, like man, I really wanna, man, bro, you woman, man, you woman, like like you have you're on on high right now, man. I can't wait till Yahweh Shai, man. He's gonna bring you off that high horse, and that's what's happening right now. A lot of women is getting judged, man, here in Babylon. Here in Bob in in Babylon, um, uh, the USSA and Canada, man, a lot of judgments happening. Let us all marry you. We will provide our own food, fo food and raiment. All right, I like a woman that could actually know how to cook, but you, you know, like but you, like but you have to watch them too. Like nowadays in these this you know because they know how to tie man and stuff, man. Like they knew, you know, like they know how to do all kind of stuff, man. If you're not there looking, but in the kingdom, like uh, like your women that aren't gonna be able to do that stuff, you know, tie man and season, you know, like with, with their whole uh, their 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 pace or whatever type of stuff what they do to try tie man. In that in the in the kingdom, man, like with yo, like we're gonna yo. In the, in that like in the in the kingdom like you will never be able to do that type of time man and all that wickedness man. Let us marry you, 
we will provide our food and clothing only let us take your name so we won't be mocked as maids and that's what it is man you watch that movie the handmaiden tale all right apostle to her he like he's the one who like who like he's the one who put us onto that but now there's a new one i really have to start watching it um the handmaiden tale all right i believe there's a couple seasons man man and that's what's gonna happen man you women are gonna get humbled man all right and you're gonna be indoctrinated righteously all right because you damn you damn woman man you have too much liberty in in babylon and, and like when you know i'm like when, I'm like when the kingdom's established when the Shai comes and he gets the final victory all right, and destroys you other nation man you you're gonna be judged man uh this is king solomon's uh Ecclesi Ecclesi 17 Ecclesiastes 7 verse 25 and I apply my heart to know and to search to seek out wisdom and the reason reason of things and to know the wickedness of folly and of even of foolishness and manner so King Solomon all right he he knew righteousness all right and he 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 ended up going into he started doing his research and then he eventually uh he got deep into darkness into foolishness all right and basically like that's why the heavenly uh, like that's why the heavenly father he chastised he chastised king solomon all right because he was worshiping you know all kind of different gods you know he was building the um, you know temples you know like to their uh like to their uh his wives and concubines and all that stuff doing all kinds of uh you know rituals and all that type of stuff you know and basically like that's why uh you know like king solomon even though he had uh he, he like he had 40 years you know his for his kingdom was 40 years of peace and that was the best kingdom right? and king solomon he, he was he, like he's the wisest king right and i find my heart better then and i find more bitter than death the woman whose heart is snares and nets right and that's what these women you know this westernized society you know and uh you know every kingdom you know like there's always been wicked women especially now these time man you know this is uh the real queen of heaven man you know but this you see you see but this man even though he's uh he's muslim this guy has over 80 he has 86 wives and 187 children and there's nothing wrong with that all right because he's able to sustain himself all right he's a man that has proper substance and all that so he's able to do that so i'm going to play this that's amazing man he's 86 years old and his youngest wife is 19. This is the Hugh Hefner of Nigeria, yeah. except yeah. he doesn't use protection and has kids. <laughs> <laughs> Man, get it, get it. Yeah, so of course, so there's nothing wrong, right? If you're making sure that your health is up to par, right, and your woman not committing adultery, right, and you're not going out there committing adultery by sleeping with the next man's wife or whatever, all right, because you know that there's nothing wrong. You know, because this this whole condom, this whole condom shit, whatever, it, like it, it like has it like it like it actually gives you more disease, you know, with these with like with these condoms and shit, man. And especially now, like nowadays, like you woman, you have all kind of different STDs and stuff. So it's like so you it's always like like you always have to like pray. Or 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 use the the so called rubber, all right? Because you don't want to get the bitch fucking. If it happens, it happens, right? But at the end of the day, like you still want to be wise because you don't know the girl's mindset, you don't know her mindset, you don't know her intention, all right? The girl could have caused the the girl could have you know. Oh, it's lucky. I'm all over the place, but. 
it is what it is, man. But um, I'm gonna play this. <laughs> That's amazing. Now look, this is all voluntary. Every woman uh, that they interviewed was like, "Oh, he, you know, he's the best. I love him. He's fantastic." No, it's amazing because the fundamentalists in Nigeria told him, "Look, you need to divorce." All of your wives except for four. You're allowed to keep four of them, okay? Because, Are they not merciful? Because under Sharia law, you're not allowed to have more than four wives. And mm -hmm. he absolutely refused to do it. So what did they do? The authorities threw him in jail. And he was there, um, I think it was for about 22 days. Uh, and his wives started protesting. They're like... Yeah, that's it, man. So that's a righteous thing, man. You know, that even though he was in jail, his wives was, you know, his uh, wives, his family... You know was standing up for him because you're you're basically trying to destroy a tribe you know because this guy he has how much children you know and that's what it is in the kingdom man like we're gonna be uh like like we're gonna have a lot of uh a lot of seed a lot of children man all right i think it's in jeremiah i think it's jeremiah 30 possibly one of the last because the Mosa is gonna make us like this the Mosa is gonna you know make us uh you know precious again you know he's gonna make us that precious Zion again you know with his elect first all right um yeah that's pretty much it um i'm gonna play it i'm gonna share this link in the description and um also i'm gonna share another link about uh, the whole muhammadian religion the whole muhammadian you know how jake established it all right and um i'm gonna share it in the, in the i'm gonna share it in the description box so uh with that let's see how praise you do to yahweh bashim yahweh Bashim Akakwadash, the ones of the apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom, this is just a little impromptu. Um, Shalom.